Greetings, friends and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation 2. So it's been a while since I've been able to show you guys a new mobile suit. I pretty much haven't gotten anything new since December. Man, that's a third of a year. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they have a new banner out. This is the Zero Shiki Type 2. I believe it's the Amro Ray Custom. That's why it says AR in parentheses. And yeah, it's a flight type support unit, which I don't know, I guess supports just they get all the cool features a year after everybody else. But uh but yeah, I yeah, I am yeah, even though this is a flight unit, I I don't feel like if I get it, I don't think I'll use it on I don't think I'll use it in the air very much. Like I'm pretty much just getting it because Dude, the, the Zero Shiki looks really, really pretty. It's it's a fantastic design. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just spinning for it like because of that reason. It it, it looks really cool. Yeah, so not much is new in tickets. Um yeah, so we have a half off spin here, so yeah, let's give that a try. Let's see what falls out of these planes. Yeah, I figured yeah, I, I have a few tokens, you know, for, for blood money. <laughs> so Okay, our first drop is the Gun Cannon Type D. Yeah, I think this thing needs a buff, to be honest. Okay, Mark III's Beam Rifle, a repeat. Okay, the Sub Rock Gun for the Water Zaku. Uh, the Gallus J's Gun, this thing looks freaking weird. Okay, Mudrox Beam Saber. Yeah, I cannot handle the Mudrock in this game. Barzum's Beam Saber. Yeah, the Heat Lance level 4. It's pretty strong. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got the Type 2 level 1. Wow, that, that this thing looks freaking awesome. Look look at that geometry. Okay, I got a big plane. Uh, missiles for the Kapool. I always forget the Kapool is in the game. Okay, Galgook Marine level 4. Okay, I think that's all our drops. Okay. For a half off spin, that's actually really decent, and yeah, I still can't believe this is the first time I got a banner mobile suit from a half off spin on a step up. Yeah, so okay, I, I guess I'll never, I'll probably never get a banner suit ever again. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Zero Shiki Type 2 AR, we gotta find a shorter nickname for this thing. So it can only sortie on ground maps. Yeah, pretty, pretty okay stats. Yeah, the weird thing about this is it has very high melee correction or melee stat. So, yeah, let's let's take this thing onto the field and, and see what it does exactly. Um, yeah, I'm hearing rumors that it does a lot of melee damage, which is very weird for a support. Uh, and even weirder for a support that, you know, is airborne, like a, it's a flying type. Okay, so let me fast forward through all my tag stuff. <clears throat> Okay, let's look at its weapons here. Okay, it can use a clay bazooka like the Rick Diaz. Okay, it can also use the shrapnel type bazooka. Yeah, so that thing, it's it's basically for DPS rather than for instant stunning. Uh, yeah, we'll use the regular bazooka for now. It has its own beam saber. Okay, Vulcans with 60 rounds. Okay, it uses the Shiki's, uh, Zero Shiki's beam rifle as a sub weapon. That's interesting. Okay, it has the bird lime launcher and these beam cannons, like uh, integrated into the backpack, 450 meters in range. Okay, let's throw on some parts on this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a lot of um, flight capacity parts, like just so I can stay airborne longer. And uh, yeah, why am I putting focusing parts on there? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm mistaken it for uh, beam overheat parts, so yeah, we're gonna have to put on melee defense instead. Okay, let's arrange our quick swap. Okay, let's look at the skills. High performance scope, observational data link. Okay, it can see radar while it's scoping, that's good. Okay, glide structure level 3. Basically, while it falls, it falls slower, so you can do mid air attacks. Okay, wing cushioning, flight system level 2. Yeah, basically you, you touch uh, the touchpad on the controller, or you press the touchpad and like it lets you go into flight mode. Okay, it has high performance balancer, that's very unusual for a support type, so it can boost into melee. 
and then high spec flight control. Um, I'm not too keen on what this does exactly. I think the uh, what is that one really ugly mobile suit people keep complaining about? Uh, I can't remember its name. It's another flight suit. It's a, it's a general type that's a flight suit, and it, it has this skill too. But uh, but yeah, basically it directs your melee in the direction of your um, aiming reticle, but it reduces your damage for some weird reason. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of unnecessary in my opinion. But um, yeah, let's throw on some paint on this thing. And yeah, I, I really like the geometry on this suit. It's like uh, yeah, it's it's very it has very very clean lines, which is I think is fantastic. Yeah, I just um, I I would just change the visor a little bit if I could. And yeah, that backpack it's it's huge, but I I I just think it's really it's a really sleek design. Like I really like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and save my stuff. We'll run out into a field test. Go to the usual place. Okay, 550. Oh, here's a new option. Disable enemy destruction. Okay, so we don't have to wait for these clowns to respawn. Okay. Let's see how this thing handles. Okay, it should have very good boost capacity. Um, I'm sort of surprised that its turn radius is so good. Yeah, it, it turns really well. It's... It, Moves a little similar to a general. God, I really like the des the design on its legs. Like it's it's actually really rare to see mobs with cool leg designs. Okay, let's look at the quick uh, the swap like menu. Everything's running up pretty fast. Oh, the cannons are pretty slow. You probably can't. You probably shouldn't combo into them since they're so slow. Yeah, you you might need to lead with these. Okay, it looks like they they do um, ready pretty quickly. Like uh. Yeah, when you boost into booster, or you boost into cannons, they, they're ready to shoot pretty quick. Okay. There's the neutral. Right. Left. Okay. Oh, it has uh, the Super Gundam swing. That's interesting. Yeah, I should be able to get a lot of range out of that. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Okay, let's pick some targets here. Okay, we have the regular bazooka with instant stun. Yeah, I'm not a fan of bazookas. I I'm horrible with them. I I just I'm <laughs> just really bad at aiming them. Hey, okay, that neutral did really good damage. Jesus, that that did almost four thousand damage to a general. Okay, thirty four hundred to a support type. That's that's a really strong melee swing. Yeah, I imagine like some people might want to build for melee damage instead of boost capacity on this thing. It'd be really scary. Okay, the the Vulcans are fairly good. They're not amazing. Yeah, they do have very good capacity, which is great. Yeah, Zero Shiki's uh, beam rifle sub. Yeah, this is a very good sub weapon. Like the rate of fire is amazing. Okay, let's look at the beam cannons. 2,000? That's kind of low. And we do have very high heat on them. Okay, I broke the shield. I think the shield's the reason why I'm getting low damage on this thing. Okay, 4,800 with all the multipliers. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong. Yeah, I'm just worried about uh, the, uh, the beams being so wide set that you're not going to land both shots usually. Yeah, but uh, I, I think at the cost range where this suit appears, a lot of mobile suits are like really wide at that cost range, so maybe it, it wouldn't have issues landing both beams. Yeah, so... Yeah, whatever stunning weapon, it combos well, like, into the beam rifle. Yeah, the damage on that's pretty great. Yeah, the Vulcans are pretty good, too. Yeah, they have good range, uh, very good shot pattern, good rate of fire. Uh, the damage isn't amazing, but uh, but yeah, they're for Vulcans. They're they're pretty good. <laughs> I like how I don't have to wait for them to respawn, but now I'm I'm pushing them up this hill, so I can't really use saber stuff on them anymore. Okay, it's got the bird line launcher. If you need a quick stun, yeah, the knuckle launcher it it takes forever to reload, so just be careful about that. Okay, one more bazooka shot. Okay, down. Okay, three shots. 
Okay, that's too many. Yeah, I'll have to try it again with a lower number of beam rifle shots. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying a melee combo. Okay, stun, downswing. Okay, beam rifle, two shots, downswing. Okay, that was too slow. I might have been able to fit in a neutral. Hmm. Okay, Zuka, down. One beam rifle shot, down swing. Yeah, that's that's really good damage. Yeah, I can see using this suit in close range a lot, but um, it it doesn't have any close range defensive skills. Like you know, it's got no maneuver armor, it's got no dodge roll. Yeah, it, it's airborne melee is very good too. It's like uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna have an easy time doing airborne melee. Okay, let's try some airborne attacks. Okay, bazooka, beam cannons, beam rifle barrage. Yeah, you can do about six shots without overheating. Okay, beam cannons, rifle. Okay, we're about to overheat. Okay. Yeah, you can press the the pad down to turn the flight back off. Like I tend to just go back down to the ground. Yeah, I wonder if you can adjust your controls to where if you go into flight mode and atmosphere, it switches over to like um, the way I have my space controls set. Yeah, right now it's, it's kind of awkward. Like I don't have a lot of practice uh, using my curtain button setup like for controlling airborne flight. Yeah, it's it's not doing bad damage to to this ray type. Yeah, I think I actually forgot to check melee damage on the raid. Yeah, the Vulcans have pretty decent range on them. Okay, let's let's test on this general type. Yeah, I really should be leading with the beam cannon instead. Yeah, but just just one barrage? Like one range combo on this thing, it can do a lot of damage to a general. Yeah, I just feel that this mobile suit it doesn't have a lot of speed. Like just even just given its form factor, like look, its entire body is covered in thrusters. It should be a lot faster than it is, but you know, like uh, devs they just have like really weird uh, things against support types for some reason. Okay, definitely flubbed my weapon switch right there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm trying to do an airborne combo. Okay. Okay, bazooka and the melee. You got very good reach. Ah, crap, I switched the wrong weapon. Okay, let's wait for the boosters to cool down. Yeah, I see this thing doing very well if it's attacking from weird angles, but if it gets... Uh, if, you know, a bunch of generals are counter-shooting it, like, or... Yeah, it, it's gonna have a lot of trouble. Like, uh, just staying alive, in my opinion. Yeah, it definitely needs a good team to cover it. Yeah, that's a very high damage combo, like, from the air. Like, even though you technically have that damage reduction. Yeah, I guess they're trying to keep... Uh, flying types from having too much of an advantage. Okay. I kind of want to try some more combos over here. Okay, let's lead with the cannons. Okay, cannon. Bazooka. Yeah, that's just on the tail end of the stun, so maybe some people will be able to roll out of it. Yeah, I, I can see the devs. They're trying very hard to keep this mobile suit from being able to double stun. Yeah, but maybe it doesn't really need to. Yeah, it's 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 able to put out a lot of damage, either in like long range or close range. Yeah, it's it's really excellent as far as I can tell. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Like, God, look at that geometry. It is friggin' fantastic. Yeah, I think my favorite part might be the design of its legs, like uh, just the lower body, like uh, and yeah, the backpack is very beautiful. 
Yeah, really cool geometry on it. Yeah, and you see how uh, the beam rifle is stored on the backpack like that? That, that, looks, that looks fantastic. Yeah, I really like this thing. Yeah, I did take it out in a match, um, what was it, yesterday? Like, against some people in my Discord, and... Yeah, this suit is, it's really cool. I accidentally took the, um, the shrapnel bazooka, which is what I'm using now. So, with the shrapnel bazooka, you can do more, like, barrage damage. Like, just unloading on people. But, you don't, since you don't have instantaneous stunning power, you're gonna have a lot of trouble defending yourself in close range, which was, yeah, that's, that was the trouble I had. Yeah, and then, like, if you take this thing onto a large map, like, that causes, that tends to cause teams to scatter, and so you'll have a weak formation, you won't have a lot of protection, so just try to keep that type of stuff in mind. But yeah, this, this trap on the bazooka, it, it does a lot of damage, especially when you just unload, like, on people with it. Yeah, so if you're looking to use this thing as an aerial gun platform, like, take this weapon. Uh, sometimes the damage on it is very inconsistent. Like, you see, sometimes I'll do, yeah, like, 2600 damage, sometimes a thousand. Like, I don't know how it decides one or the other, it's a little bit goofy. But, but yeah, it, it can, like, in theory, do a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't think any, like, just keep in mind, everybody's just sitting still, and they're not shooting back at me. Yeah, that's going to be very different in an actual match. They're going to be shooting back at you. Okay, let's try this uh, airborne barrage. Okay, from long range, got it, getting about a thousand damage. 600 and 300, that's a bit weird. Okay, I feel like I'm hitting his shield a lot. Yeah, you really don't have to get close with this thing if you don't want to. <coughs> okay, let's try an airborne barrage again. The shield is destroyed. Yeah, that, that damage is a little more consistent. Okay, beam cannons. Oh, if you're airborne, you just have low attack for everything. That's interesting. Weird. Yeah, that, that's kind of a weird way they chose to balance it. I think what they probably should have done is... Just given aerial mobile suits, like, just more mobility so they can dodge things instead. Like, just more boost capacity and more mobility so they can dodge. And then, you know, give grounded mobile suits a better ability to counter fire them. Because, honestly, bazookas kind of... They're not good for anti-air stuff. Okay, yeah, Shrapnel Bazooka is pretty interesting, but yeah, I think I'll probably take a regular Bazooka with this thing. Okay, let's look at the counter stuff for this mobile suit. Okay, it's got the kick counter just like everybody else. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think I could have gone from Bazooka to Saber. That would have done like a crap ton of damage. Okay, Bazooka to Rifle. Ah, uh, that, that does okay. <clears throat> okay. Another counter. Okay. Beam rifle to beam saber. Oof, that hurts a lot. Yeah, I think I'll I'll try to combo into beam saber if I get a counter. Alright guys, well there's a look at the Zero Shiki uh, Type 2 Arm Armor Ray Custom. It's like I'm just happy to have it just because the suit is just so damn beautiful. Like, it, it's it's such a good design. Like, I think it looks fantastic. And, yeah, it, it does a lot of damage. I have some concerns over its survivability because, you know, like, it's a support type. Like, it's it's going to have problems getting stun locked. It doesn't have really a lot of defensive tools outside of stunning things first. But, yeah, try to use that beam saber to trip people in defense. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time.